Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot tutorial. Today I'm going to show you an event system that lets you allow to connect things like buttons and pressure plates to other objects. It will also help you with a, a score system. For example, these collectibles could be collected and increased in the yeah, increase the score. Yeah. Let's see. So we have a we have a door here. See the button has an ID of one. And if I press it, it opens this door with the door ID of being the same. So example, we can have multiple uh, interactables. This one with this play has an ID two, and I can go through it, and it opens and closes the door. I can also press the button if I wanted to. And it opens and closes it. Also got collectibles using the event system as well. As soon as collecting them increases the count the score counter. And that's how it is. You can, all, you can also use this for uh, other stuff like jump scares. So you have like there's a plate and then you can have like a monster come out when you press a when you go through the plate. Stuff like that. Okay. So first you want to make an event script, for an event system script, name it event uh, system and go to your project and make it a singleton. So just go here and add the script and then make it a singleton like that. And uh, I'll make it add a class name and call it event system. And then we're going to store the event listener. This is how uh, we're going to store all the functions and methods we're going to call. So we're going to put this in there. So we're going to create a, a new function called add, add listener with an event name as string and a target as object and a method. So the method would be the functions we call and the target would be like the object, so like a player or uh, the UI score, for example. And then we've got an ID. We use these IDs to uh, connect, for example, this button to this door. So this, if I go on this button, it's got a target ID, and this door has also an ID. I've made them the same. Let's make sure they're the same, and then you can interact with each other. So you can focus on the same as well as this one as well. So there's two. The door is two. You can change this, and this can. If I change this to one, this can interact with this door now. If I do it with that. Okay. So we, when we add it, we. We check if the name is inside the event listeners. If it's not, we add it into an empty array. Then we create the listener with uh, the target being like the object, like I said before, and the method being the function, and then the ID. The ID doesn't have to be a actual number, it could be just null. And then we add the into the array, into the event listeners with the name and the look at the listener. We also have a function for removing the listener, in case we have to like delete the listener, we have to uh, remove it. So it just loops through the array and checks it if it's the same one as we want it, and then we just remove it. Then the final function is how we uh, actually call the method, the event. So we just call it emit event. It's very similar to a um, emitting a signal, but this one is more, more my style. <laughs> Okay, so how we do? So we got the event name. We want to call the event name, and if we want to pass the arguments, we pass it through the data. So we want to make sure it's an array, and then ID. It can be null if you want to like call multiple objects. For example, if you say you want to call all these doors, you can do that, but you can change it through the script. So for example, let me go back to that script. Yeah, there we go. So we will have to go in a minute. Yeah. For example, if object ID is null, we can call we can still call the same objects that have the same method. Okay, uh, so we get the target from the listener array and the method, and then I check if the target has a method, has the method, and then I'll make an event. So I'll make a callable with the target and the method, and then I bind the arguments. This is how I call the the function for the specific event I want. I just called the third it. Okay, so how does it look? Let's check the button. 
button skip. So the button skip, I have bit G. Okay, first I want to create an event listener. So I'll go to the doors. First thing I do is I create a listener in the door called interactable and I give it the ID. So the interactable is the, the event that I'm going to call and I give the target which is the the, the door and then I call and then I link it to this update door function here and then I go to the buttons I emit when I press the interact key which is uh, connected to the player from here so interaction system I just call interact on the object uh, where is it here press the interact it calls the emit event signal from the event system interactable with an empty array that means we have zero arguments for the object we're calling with the ID we want to, to target and then that's how it works pretty much just like that and it works also the score system works the same as well we have an update score system so we've got update that should be one argument we update the score by one and then we go to the score label you want as well debugging then we increase the score by the value and that's how we get the score increased if you look in the collectibles it's did you just uh one body enter it checks if it's a player you just submit the, the event and that's it so like that that's how it's done simple as that